Something you'll hear almost everywhere you look is that gear doesn't matter. If you want to create a film, whatever you've got on you will work fine. This is something I agree with to an extent, but more often than not at the entry level of filmmaking, the end result is directly affected by equipment. Today I'm going to be starting a little series of videos where I'll give you guys my recommendations for some of the best gear to pick up as a little bit of an upgrade but with a beginner's budget in mind. A great way to kick this off is with audio, you'll hear it all the time and it's true, sound is by far one of the most important aspects of a film so let's take a look at a couple of microphones I've been using for quite a while now. These are from More Audio, firstly the AT180 and then the AT345, differences between the two being that the AT345 is longer with a more direct pickup pattern, while the slightly shorter AT180 can capture sound at a wider angle and is probably the more versatile of the two. Also with picking up the 345 you get a really solid briefcase type holder, which is a huge help but that's not included with the 180. No matter the option you do get though, alongside the microphone you'll receive a foam windscreen, XLR cable, and a holder for a mic stand. The only additional item you'll need is a source of phantom power because this microphone requires 48 volts of that. Before we talk about the sound quality of these, the build is really good. Both are made completely of metal and have some weight to them so if that was a concern of yours there's no need to worry. With that out of the way, let's talk about how it sounds. Off the bat I will say both sound great. Different, but great. What you're listening to now is the AT180, which I think is the better option for voiceover work or anything in close proximity. This is obviously an edited and retouched version of the file, but here's a little bit of what it sounds like right out of the box. The longer AT345 is a little more focused, so that's something I'd use outdoors or for long distances, but not necessarily for this type of thing. Here's a little project I shot for school a while back, and I used this mic for the entirety of the interview placed just out of frame, about 3 feet away with some really challenging conditions, acoustically speaking, and it performed fantastically. No, not constantly. Like, basically, molding their marriage, basically, like, they had... They had sex, right? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, what's the word? <laughs> wait, what? Listening to both here, a commonality is that bassy warm tone, which I personally love because with a little bit of fine tuning it can sound really good, but it also means that if you're doing something live where you don't have the option to add a little bit of EQ, it might be a little too bassy. The last thing I want to talk about is value. The AT180 comes in at a very reasonable $89 while the longer AT345 is coupled with a price tag that might need a bit more thought at 159 USDs. There's not one that's better than the other they're just used for entirely different applications. If you only are interested in picking one of them up, I think the 180 is a little more of an all-around microphone, but if your budget allows for it, I definitely recommend having both. That way you'll be ready for any situation that's thrown at you, and the carrying case is pretty sick too. That does it for episode 1. Over the course of the series, you will be noticing a bit of a collection starting to form, and if you'd like to keep up with that, check out the kit.com link that I'll leave in the description. Apart from that, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up up, subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.